Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a video showing you guys the best place to locate all of your off-speed pitches here in MLB The Show 22. All right, we're going to talk about the change-ups, the sliders, the curves, and the slurve. All right, and where to locate all of those pitches so you can be most effective with them here in the game. But first, you guys, do me a favor, as always, and smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're on that road to 10,000 subs right now, so you guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate all the support. Also, make sure you got those notifications turned on so you always know when we're live here on the channel, right here on YouTube, most days at 10 a.m. Central. All right, let's go ahead and hop into some custom practice real quick so I can show you guys these off-speed pitches and where to locate them here in the game. All right, you guys, so the first pitches we're going to talk about here are the different types of change-ups here that we have in MLB The Show. All all right, we've got this circle change. You've got just a regular change up. Uh, you've also got the palm ball. Uh, I believe that pitch is still available here in the game. Uh, but uh, those are different types of change up. So any type of change up is going to work the exact same way as far as location goes and where you really want to throw them. Uh, obviously, a change up is going to be a pitch that is going to have downward movement. So obviously, you want to put it down at the bottom of the zone. You never want to leave it have a pitch that has downward movement up in the zone because if you do then it has a tendency to hang the pitcher gets a, or the batter gets a really good look at the ball and they're able to really knock the hell out of it all right so change ups the main place that you want to keep change ups to left-handed and right-handed hitters and you guys are going to notice a pattern if you watch the video about where to locate the different types of fastballs that i did a few days ago um and this one right here with the change up you want to really keep them low and inside and low and away all right and when i say low and inside if you go low and in with one You've got to put it below the zone down here. The reason you're throwing it there is because at the release, a cur excuse me, a circle change or a change up looks a lot like a fastball and then it drops and falls off. So if you've been working a guy inside with fastballs uh, and, and he's been late on him or he's, he's starting to time it down a little bit, maybe he's, maybe, you know, he's about to swing a little bit early for one. You can lay a change up in there inside. He's going to think it's a fastball at first and go ahead and swing and the ball's going to be gone. He's not going to hit it because he's going to be so early on it. So that's where you want to use those. All right, we're, for the circle change, though, a lot of times if you've got a runner on first base, it's very important because you can throw outside outside pitches uh, with the circle change or any kind of change up uh, here on the plate. And when you throw them here, you are more likely to get a ground ball in the infield. That's something that a lot of people use and a lot of real pitchers use. They use outside change ups and inside sinkers. But outside change ups, what we're talking about here uh, to go ahead and induce ground balls for double plays. So that's where you want to keep that pitch. You never want to raise these up in the zone. That even got a little bit too high up there. Uh, and as we know this year, when you throw these pitches, these off speed pitches uh, and you have way too much, uh, way too much lift on them, you're up here with it. Look at my uh, how hard it is to control it for me. Uh, and then it's going to be actually way larger PCI if your opponent swings and makes contact with it. They get a larger PCI when they go up here to hit a pitch that's not supposed to be thrown up there. So it's really key knowing where these pitches are supposed to be thrown here in the game going forward. All right. So the next pitch we're going to talk about, though, uh, is going to be the curveball. All right. And the different types of curveballs. There's lots of different ones. Uh, they're all also going to be want to be thrown in about the same spot. There's one in particular that's going to be a little bit different. I'll show you that one here at the very end. But mainly the curveball is going to be the same thing, same thing as that changeup, except never on the inside part. All right, don't ever throw an inside. We're, we're talking about if we had a right-handed batter here. Or if, if you had a left-handed batter, you can bring it across to him to the inside a little bit because it's going to sweep across. But if you've got a righty, don't ever throw an inside curveball. The odds are it's going to hang. Uh, look, I aimed this pretty down low. It's still going to hang. Uh, yeah, listen, it's not a great pitch. It, it, look, they got a chance to clobber the, the hell out of the ball. So you just want to be careful with that one. All right. So you want to keep this on the outside part of the plate. Uh, it's really good with curveballs to have these right handed pitchers throw them across the body uh, because they will throw all the way to the other side of the strike zone from their throwing arm uh, and it gets more movement on the pitch. If you create more movement on a pitch uh, by doing stuff like that with these off speed pitches, then it's going to make your opponent less likely to make good contact. So come across the body with them with a curveball, but always keep these low, keep them low in the zone. Same thing as the changeup. Don't put these up in the zone. That is bad. That was actually a really good spot. You can put that up right there a little bit, and it's right there on that inside uh, inside uh, edge of the strike zone, but don't throw them up here. Watch how hard it gets for me to control it as I move it up here with the curveball. You see that pulse actually gets bigger. Now I'm using pulse pitching, uh, and that just shows you guys a little bit. It makes it easier to show you guys how 
that pulse, look, it gets harder to control. It pulses faster and my controller starts vibrating more as I go up here in the zone with it. And then I bring it down here, it stops. So you guys gotta be careful of that this year like crazy. Now let's go ahead and change pictures real quick because I wanna cover the sweeping curve, all right? The sweeping curve. All right, so all of the curve balls, meaning the 12-6, uh, just the regular curveball. Those are going to be the very similar. All right? Those all are going to be the same. They just have the same kind of movement. You want to throw them the same way as we just showed you. But the sweeping curve is a little different. Now, I've got a lefty here actually on the mound, so it's going to be really different. But look, remember what I told you about that re regular curveball where you want to throw it uh, across the body uh, to the other side of the zone? Well, you want to do that with the sweeping curveball because that's exactly what it's made to do. It's almost like a slurve. Not quite, not quite. It's got too much upward arc to be a slurve. A slurve has more horizontal movement like a slider. So uh, what you would do here is you can aim this really inside off the plate just a little bit and work these right here in that zone. They'll come across. They might think it's going to be a strike. Uh, maybe they're thinking on two strikes that you're going to throw a high heater up there. Uh, and instead, oh, look, the bottom just fell out of this thing at the last second on that sweeping curve. And I swung and missed. So that's that's what you want to do with the sweeping curveball. Again, don't move it up too high in the zone. I can't reiterate this a much uh, or too much because uh, I'm telling you, look, it's, it's hard to control up there. But these are great to throw across, completely across the body. That's how you want to throw them. You don't want to waste a sweeping curve and throw it here on the outside part of a plate to a right-handed hitter. You can, you can, but you see what I mean about waste it? It's supposed to have more movement than that. I mean, thus the sweeping name. It's supposed to sweep across the plate. If you don't let it sweep, then you're kind of wasting the movement. That's my opinion on it. Uh, so throw those. Uh, you can throw it like a slider, though, to a left-handed hitter and across the uh, all the way across the plate here. They'll swing and miss it like a slider, uh, and you can use it right there to your advantage. So, all right, let's go ahead and cover the slider and the slurve here as our last two pitches. All right, so the slider and the slurve are very similar. Uh, they are very much meta pitches, in my opinion. Uh, the slider is a pitch that I almost require on uh, a card as an off-speed pitch. I love horizontal movement. Uh, it's a necessity. If they don't have it and they have the slurve, I might be able to make do with that. But here we go. The slider, the slider you want to throw across, across the plate. Uh, if you got a right-handed pitcher, you want to throw it all over here to this side of the plate, uh, no matter what. That's really where you want to throw it. You can throw it inside if you want every once in a while, but you want to keep it very much down, very much so down, because if it gets too much left over the plate, they will mash that like it is hung uh, well, I mean, they're, they're going to hit it far. The ball might not land. Look, they can probably hit it out of center field here. We're at pole grounds, for God's sakes. That's a big-ass home run. So that's a blast, all right? So just make sure as you're throwing it that you want to keep it way down in the zone no matter what. I do recommend, like I said, throwing it right there. That's a perfect dot pitch right there. But that's where we want to go with it, all right? The slider is very similar. You can move it up a little bit as long as you're coming way off the plate. If you want to move it up and off the plate, that's fine. It's not going to be hard to control when I aim it out here. Uh, it's when I get going up here. You can see the pulse and the uh, the size of of the uh, little zone right there gets a little bit bigger. Then come down here and it gets a little smaller. Now as I come down here, it gets bigger again because it's way out of the zone. But right here, right here, right just off the plate, we're in about the sweet spot right there. And you can feel it in your controller. Uh, get in here and custom practice and you can kind of mess around with it. And you'll be able to feel it yourself. But that's where you want to throw the slider. All right, the slurve. It's, it's probably my favorite off-speed pitch other than maybe the circle change. Just because, man, a slurve is so fun. I don't know. I just There's something about this pitch. It gets this looping action. Obviously, it's named because it's a combo of the slider and the curve. Uh, and it slurves. <laughs> All right. So uh, it doesn't have, it has a little bit of upward arc. Uh, but it doesn't have as much as a curveball does. It's not going to float as much. And then right before it would just keep going down, it decides to just break off at the last second and go to the side as well. So you get that sliding action. It's great to throw again across the body, just like this. You want to keep it in the same places that I showed you with the slider, the exact same places. That's why we're showing these two together uh, as the final two pitches. But these are mainly the best places to throw these pitches. Don't fall into much, too much of a pattern. You know, use a pitcher that has a multitude of these pitches uh, to select from. Uh, between these and the fastballs I showed you in the other video, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to mix enough pitches in enough different zones that nobody's able to lock in and key in on your uh, your characteristics and your traits and uh, your habits. Uh, don't form habits in the middle of a game. Nine innings is a long time. Your opponents are starting to pick up on habits. Uh, so you don't want to give into those and just make it easy for them. Don't throw the ball in the same spot. Don't throw the same pitch in the same spot the whole game. All right, move it around a little bit. 
That's why I give you a couple of options here with each of the pitches. So hope this video helps you guys out. Do me a favor as always and smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll catch you here on live streams here 10 a.m. Central most days right here on the channel and for the next videos. Thanks. Peace.